Hello friends, this is Durga again from Mightyversity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about setting up uh, CDH5 on uh, uh, EC2 instances on AWS. We already provisioned seven instances and um, there are certain prerequisites which we need to take care before uh, starting on setting up the cluster. One of the tasks is setting up parallel SSH. So earlier, you have seen that either we have to script um, or we have to... Um, uh, or we have to run commands uh, uh, on one host at a time um, um, but to address that issue already there is a tool called PSSH which can be installed or parallel SSH which can be installed and uh, which can be taken care so to get the parallel SSH you just uh, google it and when you google it you will get many links uh, the one which I use is this one parallel SSH to execute command on a number of hosts, uh, Zaman for link, uh, Zaman for Linux. And uh, I uh, let's copy this one. Most likely it might fail because uh, we just provisioned the instances and uh, wget might not have in, uh, installed on the uh, uh, on these instances. So first we need we need to install wget for that we can use yum m is a linux based or red hat linux based uh, uh, installer which will do download a software and also install and also set the default configurations so when we say m hyphen y w get uh, sorry m m hyphen y install w get it will actually connect to the red hat repositories and uh, download and install the software related to w get now we have the w get we can validate by running w get and hit enter and now we have to run this command and now the pssh is downloaded okay it seems there is some issue with uh, the link okay there is a space here that's why it is failing so first we need to go back and run the wget again by removing the space and hit enter now it has downloaded let's see okay i don't know why it has downloaded as uh, detail uh, question mark name equal to blah 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 what i will do is i will rename it from detail name blah 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 to pssh hyphen 2.3.1.tar.gz after renaming it i will be extracting this one like this okay there is some issue with the content so let me try this gun zip okay I think there is some issue with this file. Let me delete this. And uh, recopy it again. Now let me do this. HTTP code google.com let's see if, if it is still there let's go to the original path yes actually we can do it using git so let's try this control c again if we run git clone it might not work because we have to install that git software using m we can do that and now git is also being installed it will take a little bit while it's almost done once that is done we can copy this one and paste it here and hit enter okay i think it's not there they might have deleted hmm. let's see here downloads yes there is one pssh here let me copy this link 
So instead of git, I am using wget only. I copied the link and then hit enter. Now it is downloaded. So what we have done is uh, uh, after search and uh, after I click the link uh, to go here or you can also say um, code.google.com slash p slash parallel ssh and it will take you to here. In this you have the downloads page and you can click on that and you can download the latest one. And then I think this will work this time uh, xzf pssh 2.3.1 tar gz now it is extracted there is a directory called pssh 2.3.1 and there should be a directory bin ls hyphen ltr and there is a command called pssh using pssh command we can run uh, parallelly ok so we can validate like this so we have to specify the command we want to run so I am going back here and wait wait a minute so let us add it to the path so that we can run this command from anywhere for that vi tilde slash dot bash profile in the dot bash profile we will add this command path equal to dollar path colon okay export path come out and then run this command or you can restart also and now we can run psh and from anywhere it will work uh, so in this case we have to provide the options okay so for the um, uh, for the syntax of running commands let's go back to this zaman page and you can see that what we have to do is you can issue commands like this pssh hyphen capital a hyphen i hyphen h and then um, the list of nodes uh, either in a file or a space separated like this and then hyphen capital O strict host key checking so that when we when you actually try to connect it will not prompt you whether to proceed or not it will automatically take uh, by default and then uh, you can run the command like this so let's validate this we we can use pssh minus ca minus i minus h and then ip 172-31 hyphen 53-243.ec2 dot internal and then we can run this command and the command is df hyphen h it is failing So this is the command you can use pssh hyphen v hyphen t zero hyphen l root is the username hyphen capital h for the host name you can give a, a, a space separated host names as many as you want hyphen capital o strict host check host key checking equal to no and the command so it will actually write the output to a separate file uh, which you can uh, look into uh, to get the details here in this case it will not actually uh, show the output directly okay there is a way to do that but uh, for now we will not be bothered we we will just uh, validate whether we are able to do the pssh or not pssh is required to do more elaborate uh, uh, to run more elaborate scripts on multiple nodes in a cluster at a given time uh, but as of now we have successfully set up the pssh Okay, so that being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. Uh, using PSSH, we will be running uh, prerequisites on all the nodes in a cluster in next few videos. And after that, we will uh, uh, move ahead and start setting up the cluster. 
If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you want to subscribe to my channel, sorry, if you want to discuss further about big data or certifications, please join my LinkedIn groups called ITVST hyphen big data or ITVST hyphen certifications. And finally, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. And if you are from US or uh, from European countries, you can also support my channel by going to my YouTube uh, uh, channel page. There is a section called support the channel and you can uh, contribute as much as you want. Uh, and uh, I will uh, try to get more and more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.